Hello guys, welcome back. As in the previous tutorial, we have learned how to make a quadcopter. And now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to add a camera with this FPV system to our quadcopter. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. This is a 40 channel 5.8 GHz AV receiver. It receives video signals from the transmitter. It comes with a power connector, audio video connector and a 5.8 GHz antenna. We will connect this antenna to the top of our receiver. Now this is 5.8 GHz 48 channel transmitter module. It transmits the video signal from the camera to the receiver module. It comes with a 5.8 GHz antenna. And also a connector that will supply the 12 volt to the transmitter module. This is the Bose Cam HD19 camera module that we will use in our quadcopter. It comes with some push buttons with different functionality. Also a USB port and an AV port. This is EasyCap. It will allow our receiver to directly connect with our laptop or our smartphone. We will use a 5 volt metallic gear servo motor that will change the direction of our camera. We will connect this camera to the servo motor using screws. I will use a paper holder and a zip tie. It will hold the servo motor and the camera to our quadcopter. Now we will tie this transmitter to our quadcopter using zip ties. Now we will connect the signal wire of the camera to our transmitter module. Here we will supply 12 volt directly from the LiPo battery. Now connect the same color wires with each other. Now we need an OTG cable to connect it with our smartphone. We will power it on by using 12 volt LiPo battery. We will change the frequency and the channel using these two push buttons on the receiver module. You will also find these two push buttons on the transmitter side. Change the values but make sure that the transmitter and the receiver both having the same values. If you don't have the same value then you will not receive the video signal. Now connect the OTG to the smartphone. Now we will open the application that is USB cam. I will provide a link for this application in the description box. We can see that we have a live view from our quadcopter. If you are not getting a stable footage, then change the frequency and the channel from the both transmitter and the receiver. But make sure that the transmitter and the receiver both have the same value of frequency and the channel. Now let's check it out in the open space. Make sure to like, subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of our latest video. Take care and see you soon.